to allow a Chinese company to import these huge numbers of BRBs into the system, just to kill the local participants in the, in the industry. These BRBs were allowed into the country without even uh, taking uh, taxes on them. They were exempted from paying taxes. And they are brought in to compete a market that is already owned by Ghanaians, who are also suffering because every year they continue to buy vehicles at the time that even consumption of these petroleum products have not been increased. And for that matter, there's excess supply of uh, BRBs in the system, leading to certain decline in the output or performance of these BRBs. It, it is very, very unfortunate on the part of MPA to, to actually allow this. The local companies are companies that continue to pay taxes on their employees. They are companies that continue to pay annual license renewal fees on the vehicles and also at the premise where they will operate. They co pay corporate taxes to the state. And then we allow a foreign participant in the name of Central to come into the system to collapse their businesses. At what expense, what profit are we expecting from Central other than our local uh, Ghanaian company? So I think that MPA must set up and they should not be excluded from this blame. You hear the story that they are now going to look into it. They cannot say they are now going to look it. They knew about it and they were very, very aware of the importation of these products. They should correct it now and then so that at least some of these things do not happen again. And because if they continue to allow Centro to use their vehicles and distributing products across the country, what is going to happen is going to collapse the transport sector of the petroleum downstream.